Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And you got here, of course, just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground experiential video. I'm traveling around in East Oklahoma, and we have decided to spend a little time at Sardis Lake. And you'll have to pardon the light. We're, um, you know, it's overcast, uh, and we can't complain about that because there was some rain, and this area has been in a bad drought. But we're camping out at Sardis Lake, and right now we're exploring Potato Hill Central <laughs> Campground. Potato Hill Central. I don't know how they came up with that name. I haven't found out yet, but this is a fantastically beautiful Eastern Oklahoma campground. And just driving around looking for a place to park, I saw these signs, these reader boards. I thought I'd stop and take a look at this. This is the, the, the Rolled Earth Yak, Yakney Dam. I don't know if that's the name of the dam or the style of the dam. We are in the center of the Choctaw Nation tribal lands. So there's some information about stickball. And right across the road that I already showed, I've already shown you this is a baseball backstop. And then there's a sign that talks about the traditional food in Milipa. It's interesting. And one of the things that I've, I've noticed is different here than any other Corps of Engineer campground that I've been to is there are like, there are more group campsites here than I've seen in any other Corps of Engineer campground. So let's go see some more stuff at Potato Hill Central. So if you're gonna be traveling to Potato Hill or Sardis Lake with kids, you'll be really happy to know, or actually they'll be really happy to know there's plenty of recreation opportunity for them as well. They got a big giant tire swing, how cool is that? And best of all, there's one of those slides that when the sun's shining on it, it'll peel your skin off. <laughs> all right, let's go see some more stuff. Potato Hills Central. <laughs> I gotta tell you, there are some truly epic campsites in this Corps of Engineer campground. This is one of them, this is number 36, I believe. 36 it's a 30 amp with water nice level pad you just look at your porch how cool is that and there's there's several campsites like this in here so it, it's hard to tell you the best one make sure you click subscribe and stay tuned because this this Wednesday I'll, I'll be airing a. It may not be this Wednesday. It'll be it'll be a Wednesday. There'll be a virtual tour of this campground. Click subscribe. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Potato Hill Central actually has a fishing dock. Let's see if we're catching any fish. Wow, that's a big one too. That's a big steel barge. Are they biting? Not really. Not really. Not Y'all yeah. come out here very much? Yeah. Do they typically bite? Not right here. You mainly have to get out in the lake to do a little, do any good. Is it shallow? It looks shallow here. It's deeper than you'd think. Yeah, with the lake being down as much as it is, and it's still pretty. On average, how low is the lake? I know I'm full of questions. Yeah, well, you YouTube can channel see the and... bank line there, how it, where it <laughs> typically is. So like four feet down or so? Yeah, I don't know. Just... 
bad enough. Yeah, it's down. <laughs> all right, well, y'all have a great day. Hope you catch some fish. All right, direct from the locals. If you want to catch fish, you, you probably ought to get a little deeper. And the lake is down. And you can tell by the way that barge is, that is truly a fishing barge, not a, not a dock. That was a big steel container. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Let's go see some more Potato Central stuff. If you have a horse that likes to camp, make sure you have them watch this video because Potato Hill Central has a fantastic equestrian loop. Just look how beautiful this is. Every side has two paddocks. And I presume since since they have an equestrian campground, they've got any they've got a horse trail here somewhere. I don't know where it is. If I find it, you'll know. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Potato Central South has given us a dude RV first, which is <laughs> we get to climb up on the platform for the straw. The, the municipal water intake for some water supply. This is pretty cool. Which means the water out here must be a whole lot deeper than you would expect. And it gives us a commanding view. All right, no sign of Bigfoot yet. I'll keep my eyes open. Let's go see some more stuff. If you have a large group of people and you're looking to do a unique group gathering at a unique place, Sardis Lake, Potato Hill Central has three of these fantastic group pavilions that are available for reservation. This one is complete with a horseshoe pit. And the campsites all have water and electric and every group loop has a facility. Potato Hills Central, Sardis Lake, Potato Hills Central. Such a beautiful place to camp. There is one thing you need to be, that you need to know that I have found. There's no showers. There's, there's lots of restrooms. Every block has its own restroom. I, don't find, I didn't find any showers. I, I wanted to see a shower. <laughs> None here. Make sure you bring a shower with you or just plan on being smelly for the time that you're here. And that brings us to the end of our visit to Potato Hills Central on Sardis Lake. To sum it up, I like it. I like it a lot. This is a really pretty campground. Really beautiful place. A lot of fantastic campsites. And it is. it, it would be both a waypoint. It'd be a great waypoint stop and definitely it's a destination. Bring your fishing pole. All right. Hey, if, if you've stuck with me up to this point, I'd really appreciate you clicking on the subscribe button down there. And remember to hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm most honored. I, I truly am. That's why I get to see what I... Like. <laughs> How cool is this? Thank you for that. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. You rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?